Hey everyone, welcome to lesson 16 of how to make iPhone apps with no programming experience. In this lesson, you're going to learn about the if statement, which allows us to express some logic in our code. So let's get started with that in a playground so I can show you how it works before we implement it into our actual Xcode project. I'll call this the if playground. I'm just going to save it on my desktop here. All right, let's start by declaring two uh, two variables here var a equals 10 and var b equals 5. An if statement will allow us to compare the two numbers and to do something. So we start off by using if for if and then we can put some sort of condition. Okay so let me put the condition is a is less than b and now we open up a curly bracket like that and pressing enter in Xcode after you open a curly bracket will usually uh, Xcode will automatically fill this ending bracket in for you. So this code reads if A is less than B then do whatever code in here. If this is not true let's say that A well it is not true right now A is 10 and B is 5 so A definitely is not less than B then it's just going to skip over whatever you put into these curly brackets. So that lets you execute some block of code on a certain condition. Now we can specify the other branch. So if this is true, then do this block of code. Else, do another block of code. So your code can now take two directions based on this condition. So if it's true, it's going to do this block of code. Or if it's false, it's going to do this block of code. So it's either going to do this block of code or that block of code. It's not going to do both. Okay, So it's going to take either one branch, this branch right here, or this branch right there. Another cool thing about the if statement is that you can test for multiple conditions. So here I'm testing for A is less than B, then this will happen. If A is greater than B, then this will happen. But what if A equals B? Well, I can test for that by in between the if and the else, I can start another branch. So I would say else if A equals B equals equals actually then I can open up another branch of code. So let me first explain this equals equals sign. This is comparing if A is the same as B or A is equal to B. Do not use a single equal sign because we use single equal signs to assign values into things. So as you can see up here with these two variables, uh, in order to compare, we use the double equal sign like that. So what happens here? First, Xcode checks this condition. And if it's true, then it executes this block of code and it skips everything else. Um, if this is false, then it's going to check the next line or the next condition. And it's going to check this. And if this is true, it's going to execute this block of code and skip everything below it. And then finally, else is kind of like the catch all or the fallback. And if none of the conditions above it are true, then it's going to execute this block of code. Okay, so this is kind of this uh, sort of structure that we're going to follow in our war card game project. We're going to compare the two card numbers. Uh, and then there's a situation where they might be equal. And then this last case is for if um, the other number is greater, and this is the other number is less than. Before we move on, let me show you a couple of other operators and a couple of other cool things with if statements. For example, we can do less than or equal to, or you can do greater than or equal to. You can also chain these statements together. So you might want to test for something like this. If A is greater than B, let's say we had another variable here, and let's just call it 1. So if A is greater than B and you wanted another condition, you can, can do something like this. So this end statement means that this condition has to be true 
and this condition has to be true in order to satisfy the whole condition. Okay, so if both of these conditions are true, only then will it come into this branch of code. If either one of these are false, then it's going to not satisfy this condition and it's going to go, go down and, and check the next if statement. Aside from and, you could do double ampersand sign. You can do or. So doing this will check if either this is true or this is true. That will be enough to satisfy uh, this condition. And it'll come into here, this block of code, and it'll skip everything else. So the or statement gives a little more flexibility. You're testing either if this is true or if this is true. And if any of them is true, then that's fine, right? But the end is more strict and you need both of those conditions to be true in order to satisfy this branch of code. Okay, so keep that in mind because we'll probably be using that in a future app. Now let's jump into our Xcode project, our war card game, and let's implement that. Okay, so here we are. We are looking at viewcontroller.swift. I'm going to come down here. When the deal button is tapped, we are going to do a couple of things here. Um, compare the card numbers. So start an if statement. If uh, left number is greater than right number, right, left card wins. We have else if left number double equal sign right number, then it's a tie, and then finally else. And in this case, the right card wins. All right, so now we've set up our if statement so that we can consider each of these cases and do something in response to these different situations. In the next lesson, we're going to finish this off by updating the labels in our storyboard. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next lesson. Bye for now.